there is an innate underlying nature to things, to people, to every form of life on the planet, to the planet itself. There is a potential underlying it that is the very essence of who and what it is, as is true for every human being. There, it's not what, like we could be just anything and be in integrity with ourselves. No, we are someone. We are someone. Each of us are someone. There's an underlying nature to who we are. There's an underlying pattern of who we are, a truth to who we are. And our potential is that truth. Our potential is an expression, an embodiment of that truth. And so it is for all people and all things. And that truth is there wanting to come out. And I'll even go so far as to say it will come out inevitably. That is the very nature of the truth of things. So no matter what we do, while we can cover it over for so long as human beings, at some point, what is truth, what is true, cannot be covered over. It is itself, and it is unchanging. And because it is true, it is real. And it is more powerful than anything you or I could do as human beings. The truth of who you and I are is unalterable. We could all mess it up here. Like we could all um, distort the expression of who we are on the planet. That is possible to do. People do it. And yet that is temporary. It doesn't change who we are. We cannot change who we are. And ultimately, who, who we are will find expression one way or another. And so it is with all things. That doesn't or shouldn't make us passive. We have the opportunity to be stewards, facilitators of that happening. We have the opportunity as co-creators to bring the underlying truth of who we are and the truth of all things, and particularly all things that, we're, that are in our sphere of creatorship. That's not a passive affair in my experience. We are bringing the guidance of that, the seeds of that. Yes, we're opened, opened up to perceive what it is, but we're not just waiting to be inspired as like having a nice vision or dream or prophecy one day. No, we're into, yes, doing that, but receiving it and then living it and let, letting the truth of things move and live through us.